not coming out. Sally. I look hideous. Nobody cares how you look, Sally. You still have a train to run. And you look fine. No, I don't. I look, I look like one of you. Wow, rude. You don't look like me. Then you run my train. Uh, no. And whining is not going to get you out of your assignment. The gull has already been taken down to just one run today because of your maintenance problems. It's not dropping to zero. But, but, Belle, would you take my train for me? Me? I got back from the case not two days ago, and I have been running commuter trains ever since. I like you, but I take my orders from your manager, and my manager, not you. But, Belle... Sally, if you don't come out and run your train in the next minute, I'm going to get on the turntable and drag you out. You, you can't do that. You didn't go in for maintenance yet, did you? You know I didn't. I gave that up for you. Blau, are you going to lend me a coupler with this? What? I'm not... Oh, what the hell. Sure. Wait, wait. <sighs> okay, I'll run my train. Wait a minute. There's no use starting in the middle of a story. Let's take a step back to the previous evening so we can figure out what's going on. God, I look terrible. Hey, Sam. Good timing. Uh, well, sort of good timing. Let me finish putting this together. Drop those wherever there's room. Other stuff for you is on track, too. Oh, and I need to put in a way bill for more chlorine. Hey, Bill. Oh. Whew. Oh, hey, Blount. Man, the run-up from Davenport really takes a lot out of me. One and a half percent, right? Ouch. For a few solid miles. I don't know how Sally does it. And I was only pulling four coaches. They're thinking on track realignment right outside Sugar Creek. And if I'm going to keep doing this, it can't be done soon enough. Oh, speaking of Sugar Creek, Sam, is Dick coming back soon? Uh, hopefully. I saw him down there. He was just setting up. Somebody been a switch point, so... Which one? Uh... I don't know the names. It's just at the east end of the industrial track. It wouldn't throw diverging, apparently. Noted. It'll go on my report tonight. Okay. Anyways, these first two boxcars are apparently going to Branville. I know nobody's run the Branville turn yet, because it's still sitting there. I'd volunteer, but it's already getting... Oh, can I steal this caboose? Track 3. Where? Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, that's where we stashed SETR this morning. And they didn't take their caboose back? Katie brought that in. Well, I think she stole your N6, the gray one. Uh, I'll get it back. So there's been no TRSE? Nope, SP is slacking off. No surprise there. Are they gonna want their stuff? I'll dump it in with the Branville turn and just send Nick to Seattle. Because I'm sure he's going to love that. You could volunteer. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I would, but running the Pelican is killing me. I need some downtime. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh shit, I've got to get those cars to Layton. Has it occurred to anyone how much better we do with just one more locomotive? We had coal for a little while. That was nice. And then he gets shipped off to... Wow, I sound like Stallion. 
Can someone get in touch with Stallion? If he's coming back tonight, I need some things. And Sally's late. She was supposed to be right behind me. Wait, there she is. Is she stuck? Looks like it. I'm going to help. Sally. Sally, grab my Tinder. I... <laughs> a little forward, huh? <laughs> Sally. Belle, everything hurts. There's something really wrong. Grab on. I'll pull you. Thank you, Belle. Thank you. She's leaking steam from somewhere. She's leaking steam from everywhere. I'm going to go get the shop crew to take a look at her. Oh please, F40BH, let this not be another engine down. They'll let me ring SP, just in case. Hey guys. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit late, but... Uh... Is everything alright? Grab the train on track 6 and head towards Seattle. Your orders are hanging on the first car. Whoa, whoa, I didn't even do anything. And Seattle? Yes, Seattle. SP is lazy, so you're working. File a complaint with them while you're there, if you feel like. Uh... Is Sally okay? I... I have no idea. Wow, I've never seen you this... concerned over someone. Especially Sally. We've all got soft spots someplace, Nick. I... just want to know what's wrong with her. I mean, I know she'll be alright, but... I'm staying here. Nick! I want to know that she's okay too! You have a train to run! Hold on, Sam. He won't be staying long. What's the verdict, Kelly? Well, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Bad news first. What? Well, uh, okay, sure. Bad news first. That works. Bad news is that Staley's steam chest failed a lipid penetrant crack check. Looks like a series of micro fissures within the casket. Huh? Her pistons are breaking. <gasps> oh, God. What's... what's the good news? We can shore them up fairly easy. We've got a new welder and some RSJ stock out in back that ought to do the trick. But she definitely shouldn't run anywhere under her own steam until we take care of this. And, here's the kicker. We'll have to remove all of her streamlining before we get a good picture of the extent of the fracture. Which is very labor intensive and time consuming. Sam? I'm already thinking on it, but frankly it's not much of a choice. We can't afford to lose another engine. If we tow her into the roundhouse, can you work on her tomorrow? With permission from the manager, I can clear everyone's schedule. I'll put it in my report. Plan for it. Sam, isn't your transmission regearing schedule for tomorrow? I'll live. She's gonna be okay, right? She'll be fine. I'm just glad we caught this now. The alternative is not pretty. You're telling us. Nick, get a move on. I will. I will. And one other thing. When you get to Seattle, whenever you talk to the Yardmaster, tell them to please send someone over here to help. They'll be compensated. No problem, Sam. Have a good night, Kellogg. You too, Nick. Anything you two want me to take a look at before I head out? I know I'm probably off the clock, but I'm in the mood to fix something. Well, I had a tree almost knock in my cab roof hatch. But I think the guys in Providence fixed it with a ball peen hammer and some elbow grease. And I've got to get back up there anyway, so maybe another time. Actually, before I forget, I think I need a new tire on my right middle front driver. Look at it later. I'll write it down. Bell? I know it's not really hindering anything, but I've got a piece of metal lodged in the joint on my incentric crank. Really? Let me take a look. Where'd this come from? You were talking about boiler explosions. You should have been down in San Fran a couple of weeks ago. I was doing a case. As you might expect, I okayed the work without a second thought. The goal was our second best paying service and we couldn't afford to lose that much revenue on a whim. I started looking around for another engine in my spare time, though I didn't have much of it. The situation in the coastal division just kept getting worse. We needed more help. Okay, you're good. Go, go, get! I'm going, I'm going. You know, it was windy last night. I took another tree, and now I've got a hell of a boiler ache. You'll be fine. Where's Belle? Pelican. 
Shit, uh, Hank? Out of service. And you couldn't convince Lee to watch the yard. Keep dreaming, Sam. Alright, well, no choice in this one. What are the orders for T-R-A-Y? Six needs to be cleared for Leroy. Oh, and the gull! I forgot about the gull! I'm back! I never thought I'd be happy to see you, but drop that here. T-R-A-Y is on track six and that needs to go. Wait, where's the SP engine? Uh, they didn't have anyone. What?! I asked them, I swear! I asked them last night and again in the morning. I told them we needed help, but... You are kidding me! You are absolutely kidding me! They haven't done anything lately! What the hell is the point of our contract if we're just shelling out engines for them to use and they aren't returning the goddamn favor? Please don't hurt me, I tried. And have you seen the Eagle Run lately? It's our name, sure, but that's supposed to be their train. It came with the trackage rights back five years ago. But I think I can count on my wheels the number of times I've seen that come through since I got here. Are they broke? Are they stupid? Do they just hate us? They don't do anything! I'm, I'm just gonna take this train and leave. I need to get some more coaches up for Bell. The Gull's passengers are not going to be happy with this one. Bring the goddamn thing back down to one run, not three weeks into the season. Kellogg! Yeah? How much longer till you're done with her? Uh, we just finished barring out her engineer's side. And her fireman's side is getting filled in now. Give it an hour or two. I'd like to run some tests, however, make sure all the patches hold and her petticoat doesn't leak any further. And? We'd need to do that without her streamlining on. Alright, leave it off then. When she's good to move, steam her up. Her test can be taking the gull. Are you sure she's gonna appreciate that? Right now, it doesn't matter if she cares. I didn't want to force anyone into anything, and I'd done my best to not do it to that point. The engines usually worked out their own problems, and these, in the first place, rarely impacted the railroad as a whole. But now, we were facing a double problem with engine and revenue shortages, and, ch and the choice was either put both the locomotives and their crews to the breaking point, or risk going on there altogether. <laughs> Sally? You look funny. Ugh, I wanted to scream at that little bastard, the newspaper boy. I wanted to tell him to shut up and then blast him with steam from my blowdowns. So many people were asking me the stupid questions and I looked so terrible. It was so awful and I didn't even want to be there at all. I just wanted to blow up and be gone. But no, I had to run my train, the stupid gull. What's the point? What's the point of having a streamlined engine without any streamlining? I'm supposed to be good looking. I'm not good looking. I look like a lumbering black can. And it doesn't help that they didn't even clean me before putting me out. I don't match. I don't even belong. I've got nothing. Good afternoon, Sally. Glad you could finally make it. How y'all feeling? I'm fine. I mean, if you say so. You sound a little less than fine. I wonder why. Alright, alright, I can take the hint. I'll leave you to it. But in case you want to talk, I'll be around. <sighs> Thanks, Stallion. Thanks for not mentioning. All right, all right, tie up the lines, cut me loose, there we are, there we are. Welcome back to Davenport, Aquila. You know, I will say you've got a wonderful name, and I, I would love to chit-chat, although I have to get back to... Oh, dear me! Oh, dear, Sally, is that you? What am I saying? Of course it's you, you just look... Well, different, mind you, quite different. Not bad, I'll be honest, you're just a tick closer to steam locomotive than you were before. And there's not a problem with that, not a problem at all. I, I apologize, really, I was just a bit taken aback. I'm used to you being, well, 
it's all silver and gray and whatnot. Though, though you locomotives, you do love to change. I've seen stallion in all sorts of colors, mostly black or green, of course, but occasionally a blue. And and once, let me tell you, once he was red. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it myself, but he was a brighter cherry than I am. Which, I suppose, isn't saying much, but did he look splendid? It is kind of clear to me that you didn't expect to end up black again, as it were. But just a little hosing down and you'll be fine. And, and I think your coaches would deserve some repainting as well to match, since you're just a tad out of place with that streamlined consist. Just a tad. Actually, maybe this wasn't the best design choice. I'm, I'm sure you'd do better in the matching department if you were silver gray again, and seeing as it ought to be easier to do that than, well, repaint a whole train set. But you've made the decision to do this, a, a bold one, no doubt. But I just think it's a bit questionable. So, final thought, whenever possible, get, get your streamlining back. You'll be a bit more distinguishable that way, as well. I mean, not saying you blend in by any means, but... But... Uh... Is something wrong? Sally? Sally? Williams? Where's Sally gone off to? I, I I believe I may have misspoke. I hate him, I hate him, and Stellion, and Sam, and Kellogg, and everyone! He's such a jabbering idiot! Can he ever learn to shut his stupid mouth and not... and not... Oh, he's so right! He's so right! I look so bad! I don't match! I don't... I know what people are thinking about me, but it's probably... Well, I know what he's thinking, stupid tugboat. That's probably nice by comparison. Everyone else probably hates me. Why not? I look just... just abysmal now. So why should I be liked? Sally, are we going to stop anytime soon? I don't want to stop. I want to go until I'm gone. I've made my decision. You're violating your contract. I don't care about my contract. Maybe they'll scrap me and replace me with someone who doesn't mind pulling a train ugly I'm wondering why they haven't done that already. Sally. No, you can't help. You have no idea what it's like to have the only thing that matters pulled off of you. Why, Sally? I don't want to see them. They don't want to see me. I'm not going to waste anyone's... time? What the hell? Hey, you! I wanted to go this way. Hello? I don't think he's got steam up. Well, I'm not going to run backwards, and I want to go this way. I'm not pushing a stupid, rusty... Wait a minute. Isn't he... Isn't that the engine that was pulling the president's train? AFT-1. Yeah, that's him. What's he doing here? What's he doing in my way? I don't know. Let's find out. Are you going to steam him up? Because that's going to take hours. I want to leave. I want to get out of here. I should have just driven into the Blackstone when I had the chance. Sally, I hate to break it to you, but we're not just one and off. I know you're upset, but you have a job to do. What? What? Just be patient. That should be it. Hello? Hello? Oh, <coughs> oh man. <coughs> oh, what? Hello? <coughs> Who's... <laughs> Ow, what the what in the hell is going on with my flus? <laughs> You're a little beat up. <coughs> You're telling me. Who are you? I've never seen you around. <coughs> Excuse me before. My name's Jeff. I'm Sally's engineer. <coughs> Sally? Oh, you're Sally. <coughs> I wish I could have gotten your name before. I saw you by the <coughs> roundhouse in Troy. Where the streamlining? <coughs> <coughs> Remember you had it on last time I saw you. They... they took it off. They made me run my stupid train without it. Why'd they do that? I had something wrong with my steam chest. I don't know. Kellogg was jabbering on about it before they steamed me down. He said he was sorry for not being able to put my streamlining back on, but it was necessary. Well, that's a darn shame. What it sounds like to me, 
is, well, if something's wrong with your cylinder, that's a big recipe for disaster right there, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. I would have taken the disaster. Why? Why on earth would you want that? I'm sure it'll get your streamlining. <coughs> Excuse me, streamlining back on tonight. I mean, the IHR mechanics were always dedicated. You don't understand. Nobody understands. I'm already done for. Everybody's seen. Everybody knows what I really look like. It's awful. Well, I'm tempted to say. So what? And also, take it from the ones rusting out here. It's not awful. Sure, your jacket might be a little worse for wear from being stuck underneath that shroud for so long. But I still think you look better than most. Hell, I'd even go as far to say you look great the way you are right now. Really? You're not just saying that, right? If it wasn't the truth, Sally, I wouldn't be saying it. I'm not into the business of lying to people. I've been in so many different schemes in my life, it's ridiculous. From what the Reading painted me in before they sent me off, the Iron Horseman's repaint, the SP's lazy matte black, and a few others ones in there. Yeah. Paint is paint. It's what they, it's what's on the inside that matters. Like that one? Yeah, like this one. It looked pretty flashy, didn't I? Pretty slick. <coughs> but it's not slick, it's this cough. Oh god. I'm 40, help me. I thought you looked awesome. Oh, thanks. I didn't even think to notice for the most part. <coughs> How could you not? Because it isn't about that, Marge. To me, I couldn't care less about what I'm painted in. It's not about what I look like, but who I am. That's been something I've wondered for years. Reasons I'm genuinely sure you wouldn't understand. <coughs> Maybe I'll tell you someday. Uh-oh. What? We're losing steam pressure somewhere. I can't maintain it. It's my cylinders. It's probably from my cylinders, if anything. Wait, no, Chris! Yeah? Why, what, what happened? I mean, why are you here? I broke down, Sally. The SP didn't feel like fixing me. Too much work. Non-standard parts. You know the drill. But you were the pride of this country. When they signed the armistice, you were chosen to go on the train. That was almost ten full months ago. Truth be told, I was in a sorry state of acting. But the Southern Pacific pressed and pressed and pressed. I got the job. Fixed me up and sent me across the country. And sent me back around the country. Celebration of a hard-fought victory. I was the president's train. I was the country's train. It felt really wonderful. <coughs> this makes me remember the harsh reality. And no matter how bad or good things are, I turn to crap in an instant. Pretty sure the SP is just gonna leave me here. Save the time you've got, Sally. No matter how it is you look doing so. No, no! We can we can save you. Chris? I have got nothing in here. Like it's too much to get anything coherent out of him. Well, I've changed my mind. Oh, you have, have you? We've got to go back to Troy and tell Jerry about this. All right, if you say so. Wait, you're on a first name basis with him? Yes. When did this happen? While well, you had a broken arm. Oh. So, come on, let's get out of here. What about your train? Oh, shit. Sally, you are in a hell of trouble. Uh-oh. So did the manager give you a worse tongue lashing than I would have? I don't know, but it feels like it. <laughs> I heard what happened. Frankly, I'm sorry. I mean, I knew you were vain, but I didn't know it meant that much to you. I would have fought the idea if I did. I should have better controlled myself, to be honest. It's, it's just streamlining. I wasn't even built with it. Stallion said Williams. 
Oh my god, that stupid tug. He has no concept of being concise, or quiet, or even coherent. I don't even know what he was trying to say in the first place. I'm sure his motor was in the right place, but, well, I sort of lost my mind. I don't know. Really, I probably should have just been happy to be alive. You know, last year the New York Central dieselized the entire Boston and Albany in a week. Oh yeah, I remember. Bell was in an awful state. And I didn't even try to comfort him. Oh. And he's, like, the only person around here that tolerates me. Oh, please. We all tolerate you. Sometimes we even like you. Aw, that's nice of you. I didn't know I was that likable. You aren't. That's why I said sometimes. Right. Well, where's Kellogg? He's applying for overtime for the work crew so they can get your streamlining back on. Really? Yep. Actually, he just went around the back of the roundhouse, so... Good evening, Sally. All right, boys, let's get to work. Good evening, Kellogg. On Sam. What? Get to work. On Sam. You haven't had your transmission work yet, right? No, I haven't. Then I think it's your turn. But, Sally, with your schedule, you might not be able to get daytime work until the end of the season. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pull this much over time again for a while. That's two days in a row now, and I would be willing to work off the books, but... You know what? I'll live. Thank you, Sally. Thank you very much. Change your plans, boys. Get the cranes ready. Oh, hey, manager. Hi, Jerry. Are you two the only ones here? Yeah. Huh. Well, I have an announcement to make, but I think I'm going to save it until tomorrow. No use repeating myself. Good luck on the work, Kelly. Thanks a bunch, boss. Hey, can I talk to you about something real quick? These two want to change your plan. Start work without me. Out back. I'm worried about myself spilling the beans to these two and everyone else. We may have solved this whole power storage thing, and I think more overtime will be in order. Wait, really? Okay. Wonder what that's all about. I think I have a pretty good idea.